back guys uh, a little quick uh, video today today at work sucked it was a terrible day at work we our system went down short staffed we've been short staffed since really since covid kicked in and then you know it's really been going on everywhere but and you know we all threatened to quit but is the grass really greener anywhere else I've worked at other places where the system goes down and it's the same day as it was today where I'm at currently. Bad days seem to be worse when you're in them than when you look back on them. And then by the time you actually leave where you're at because there's been so many bad days, you think back to yourself, wow, I really didn't leave for anything any better. There's been one instance where I actually left um, I left the nursing home for the job I'm currently at, and that is probably the only instance in nursing that the grass was actually greener. Um, you know, I left a, a higher paying job even for, for where I'm at now uh, in order for the grass to be greener. And luckily it was, um, you know, but I, I've left lower paying jobs for higher paying jobs thinking that they were going to have better hours or, you know, better... Uh, whatever it may be, better hours, better insurance, better benefits in all, all areas, you know, and, and then come to find out, oh, well, now you got to work mandatory third shifts. And that insurance you thought you were getting, oh, yeah, the copay isn't actually 50 it's $150 or, you know, whatever it may be. That 401k really, yeah, we, we match dollar for dollar, but it's only up to 3% or whatever it may be. The grass isn't always greener and it always isn't really any greener I, I heard a nurse one time say that the grass is just less brown in another area so if you're in an area in nursing or or even if you're in uh, school to be a nurse and you're a CNA and you kind of like where you're at I would just go ahead and stay there uh, unless you are just coming home every day and you just feel miserable burn out you're done I would really just stay where you're at because it's not really going to get any better anywhere else you know unless your dream job you know I, I have worked with nurses in the past they were like i only got into nursing school to go to ob or you know whatever it may be um you know I, I wanted to be a burn nurse since i was little or you know something like that if your dream job is something like that i would say shoot for your dream job take the necessary steps because some of these jobs, you're going to have to get experience in other things before you can obtain your dream job. I didn't get into nursing with a dream job. I, I just didn't, you know, think of it as strange as you would like to. I just didn't have a dream job in nursing when I got into it. I just wanted to get into nursing because I could do it. I knew I could mentally, physically, you know, and, and financially, I knew I needed something. So I got into nursing knowing that I could do the job, but without a, you know, specific dream job, you know, a, a, a obtainable dream job. But if you, unless you have that dream job, that, that job that you have to have in, in order to fulfill your bucket list, whatever it may be, the grass may not actually be greener wherever it is you're going. Uh, you know, oftentimes I'll get in conversations with nurses and they'll say, Oh, yeah, but, you know, you guys have it easy at my place. We have to do, you know, what, whatever it may be. And I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. Sounds like whatever we do at our job. And, and we'll go back and forth and bicker as to who has it worse or who has it better. And no one really wins. You know, everybody kind of has it not so good. Um, you know, my, my retirement job, one that I know that I couldn't really pay my bills on at this moment in time, but one that I would like to get, uh, you know, whenever my kids get older and out of the house and I have the ability to, to take the pay cut, I would love to be a pediatric nurse at a doctor's office, you know, a doctor's pediatric nurse, uh, or doctor's office pediatric nurse. That's sort of my dream job, if you will, but Financially, I know I can't actually do that as I would not make anywhere close to what I'm making now because I would be at a doctor's office and I know I'd take quite a pay hit. Uh, and so that's, even though that's my dream job, the grass really isn't any greener because I would have to sacrifice, you know, things here at the house. I wouldn't be able to do things with my family um, financially that I do now because of the pay cut that I would take. So, you know, one of these days I, I will, you know, eventually 
do that whenever I, I have the financial means to become a, a pediatric office nurse. Uh, and, and like I said, that is my dream job. But it, even though that's my dream job, it's just not any greener than it is now because I couldn't afford it. I couldn't pay for things that we have now. So when you're looking at jobs in nursing, look at something you can do and come home to at the end of the day and think, okay, I had a good day or this day wasn't too bad. If you're coming home every day and you're just, you know, crying into your steering wheel and you're unconsolable, maybe yes, it's time to change jobs. Maybe it's time to, to move to something slower and you may have to take that pay cut. But if you're just getting through the days and it's really just not that bad, maybe you found your spot because it's not really going to get any better anywhere else. Not an encouraging message today. I understand that it is just not. Like I said, we just had a terrible day at work. We're burnt out from working understaffed since the COVID and burnt out from the COVID and, and whatever it may be. And even though I won't throw my hands up and quit, it's just not going to be any better anywhere else I go. It'll be the same thing no matter where I go. It could possibly be even be worse than it is right now, no matter where I go. So Find something you can do. Find something that you have the ability to do, the mental capacity to do. Your body will let you do it. Find something you can do. And if that's, you know, steps to your dream job, do it and then make your way to your dream job eventually. So not very encouraging today. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Hate it if you want to. Dislike it. Whatever. If you do or do not like it, check out that video. Maybe that video over there will be more encouraging than this one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope that helps. If you just completely disagree with me, let me know. Thank you much.